Real quick, we are going to go live with me eating. There we go. So today we've been doing a lot of work. We've been processing our steer that we have raised from scratch here at the farm. So we've got a lot going on here. We've got some, some stuff with the bones. We've got some uh, beef jerky here. We've got some grinding that we've been doing here um, and all this good stuff here. So let me get my camera over here and I will dive into what we're doing here. So. Yeah. All right, so like I said, we've been raising our steer here at Hartway Farms for over three years now, and uh, it came time to where you had to harvest them, and we have been doing all things beef and processing our steer. We have no equipment here. Um, we're doing this all by hand. We're doing this as a family. Um, we thought about, you know, do we put them on a trailer and get them uh, processed out by someone else, uh, but who doesn't want to process a steer one time in your life for the first time, right? So... Annie and the girls say they didn't want to, so but they got roped into it. So uh, today, uh, William and I and the family have been jumping into making grinds, um, making different cuts, uh, making some no infrastructure um, beef jerky. So we're just using some pans. We're gonna smush it down with some different seasonings and put that in the oven and start dehydrating that. So we have some um, strips that we're gonna cut out of that here, and then we have. Uh, like I said, we got a friend of ours that let us borrow a grinder that works great. We've got raw cut meats that we've been doing. Um, we have hundreds of pounds. You saw a video of us working on the deer. Um, but we've got hundreds of pounds of beef and lamb and uh, deer. What else? we got chickens um, that we've been putting up for the season here. So um, the, the thing, um, well, I should mention it real quick here, I forgot, is we are doing a giveaway, first of all. So if you jumped on here and you're, you're part of this, uh, we're doing a giveaway. If you go to heartwayfarms.com, go to the link in the description uh, after the, the live upload here. Um, we've been using our Warthog uh, knife sharpener here. Super cool sharpener. Um, they gave us two, two of the products to give away here. So sharpen your knives up, super cool product. Uh, but Warthog gave us two sharpeners to give away. We're doing a free giveaway, so jump on there and fill that out, first of all. Second of all, I am going to be eating bone marrow raw uh, for the first time here. I've never had bone marrow raw, raw here, and um, it's going to be an experiment, experiment for me, an experience. Um, I know that we, we raise Guernseys. We have, um, we've had the butter from them, which is very, very golden. Um, like here go butter and then the fat on the Guernseys if you look here is extremely golden as well So I'm not the best lighting for you But I mean just the amount of fat that you get off of these guys They have a super high buttermilk fat uh, content and their fat um, the way that they convert uh, the pasture the grass um, Into the fat structures is amazing. I'm sure Julian has more that she can add to that here, but um, so we as Americans are really averse to um, eating uh, raw products when it comes to like entrails or organs, um, um, awful, awful, um, those types of things. So, but the bone marrow is extremely good for you. I've never had it before. Um, you can see and this bone right here is I'm just going to make it dig out here for you. It's, it's like, it's almost like a yellow, buttery, waxy consistency. Um, so there's the marrow right there. And this is the yellow marrow specifically. There are, there's also red marrow. Yellow marrow, yes. Okay, so this is the yellow marrow. Um, so it's extremely like clean. Um, un, I don't know. It's not like it's disgusting at all. I mean, it, you can just see how it's just a super clean product. There's the shaft of the bone right there. So these were full-size bones that were just huge. Couldn't even uh, handle them. You got knuckles here and then the shaft that we kept aside here. So... Um, the marrow itself is super high in, Julianne read off the words, B, the B vitamins. Uh, B vitamins, glycine, collagen, um, good saturated fats. Okay. So, and that's, so fats are not all bad for you. Not all fats are bad, especially the raw fats. Um, you know, the unprocessed kind of like beef tallow and those things have been used for a long time. So we made a ton of beef tallow as well. So I'm going to take a chunk of this, this, uh, this marrow right out of the bone um, you can see you know not pointing one's leg here there's the meat still on the bone um, it's it's the bone you know I can't I can't make the knocking noise because it's not hollow but so here's the marrow we're gonna pull a chunk out here and uh, dive in and right away it's extremely dry um, 
and I hate to use the word waxy, but like a really um, stiff butter. Um, it needs salt. It needs to be salted. But it has no offensive odor to it. It has no offensive flavor to it. Um, it almost... It almost coats your mouth like a very like rich. What's the I'm trying to. So think it of, was like very when I tried Julian it. Tried I already it. tried <laughs> it. It's really buttery, almost like very reminiscent of when we made our homemade butter with our Guernseys. It's very similar to that, like almost uncannily similar. Similar, like if you put the two and two next to each other, like salted and ready to go, I would have a hard time finding the difference between the two. I bet outside of the occasional granular type piece and I think that's because of the bone um, you maybe got you know, a chunk of bone saw, in there from the saw itself um but I bet if you put unsalted butter side by side with this you would not know the difference you would like the average person they would think Kerrygold butter unsalted excuse me it's like it's still there. it's so rich and like I said I hate to use the word waxy but it like coats your mouth you know like 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 it's yeah, I mean it's like it's got that like tallow, like, um, like fat type of you know type of structure. Anyway, um, I know a lot of you guys haven't um, eaten you know bone marrow before. I've never eaten raw bone marrow before, so why not jump on YouTube Live and and dive into it? So anyway, like I said, we're using all of these products. You know, whatever we didn't use, we made. Uh, goodness, I forget the number. I think we made about forty pounds of dog food off of the grindings and the on the outside of the animal that we want that you know that either touch the ground in the spot or um just fats and different parts of the body the carcass that we couldn't uh, process out for us um i think it's more than that it because those held like two pounds each yeah us. so it's probably like 80 or probably 80, 80 pounds yeah so pounds. so that's a lot of like really high uh you know density food that we can add to the dog's food as well so that they can have you know their dog food and that uh, like I said, we're making our no infrastructure, you know, we're not using fancy dehydrators and all that stuff. We're just going to lay the meat out here, put it in the oven, and then once it kind of gets um, uh, laid out, we might, and stiffen up a little bit, we might be able to transfer it to more like a cookie type of a rack or something like that to get more airflow around it. Say hi to Annie. Hi, um, I'm making dinner. So, like I said, kitchen's a, a dive right now. We, we turned into a, a meat processing plant here in the house, and um, yeah, it's just really fun to be able to convert you know, three years of hard work of raising the animal and um, using all the products. So we've, so far we've made bone broth, beef tallow. Uh, we're eating raw products off of it. Julian's doing some stuff with the organs. Um, come in here with me real quick. You'll get a snapshot into our kitchen here. Um, the girls have been baking all year, or not all year. All, all year, <laughs> all year. <laughs> basically all day, yeah. basically all year. But we're also, let me grab it here. We're also doing uh, um, the, the, the tongue, so we're making lingua. So right now it's in the process of just uh, boiling and then we'll pull the... the oh. and, um, okay. We'll go back out here. Yep. And, um, we're live again. It was a big help to have our friend uh, that let us borrow this giant meat grinder. This thing went through and chewed up everything. Like we, we put it in there and um, it, it had a tube stuffer on it so we were able to pack it into the, uh, the pr preservation bags um, for that. So anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys learned a little bit about the beef tallow and um, more so the beef, the bone marrow. Uh, Julianne might do something later on or give some information in one of her posts um, about that and the benefits of it and what we find on it. And uh, we'll be in touch later here. So have a blessed night and thanks for joining us.